Arsenal fan TV now, Bully. Mm -hmm. Is this true? A no. guy told me in, um, as he was coming out of the ground that you sent a Valentine's card to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'd be sending him is a bloody hangman's noose. Right, I've even told the stewards in there, when, if he comes back here again, don't let him in or put a load of X-Lax in his coffee. So instead of being shit on the pitch, he stays in the dressing room with the shits. The guy is a joke. He has FIFA on there. It's, we know what FIFA's like. The whole thing's corrupt. Right, do you know what I mean? I did it deliberately to wind him up, you know. It's about oh, no. the, about he, the referee. He, 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 I, I didn't even come. I come out before the, even the whistle was blown in the uh, first half because I was so incensed. Like, it, it really riled me up because there was no way that was a penalty. The challenges that he give yellow cards for, the, the bloke is a complete and utter joke. He needs to get out of football. He need to get that idiot uh, corrupt copper. Like, Hold on, we won't have any... Where, you, you're no, out of referees you want to get, we won't no, have any left. We need an uncorruptible referees association. Not a twat like Mike Riley running it, and not a corrupt twat like Gollum, Mike Dean, Martin Atkinson, Muppet Mason, because the guys do I told not... you, there'd be no one left. No, that's why we need a new one. We need a one that is not going to be corruptible. Mm. Because at the end of the day, he, he must have been getting slated in that studio. Oh, I'd love to hear what they're saying about him, because... Well, apparently, um, some of these guys were saying that they all said 40 was the penalty. <laughs> I don't know. And it's me that's had the washing machine fall on me head. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, let's talk about the game, though. I mean, what a victory that is. I mean, that is such a big win, Bully. And the scenes at the end when we got that last-minute goal, I mean, nothing beats a last-minute goal. Well, I'm just glad I've got my nipples pierced, so if I have a heart attack, they just some electric cables <laughs> to them. I can start me up again. <laughs> but, yeah, it was absolutely blinding. I didn't think it was going to come the way, way it was mm. going, going wide and all that lot, but nice little header from uh, Danny. Mm. Like, come on and just... Giroud, he's got to call out for the ball. He attacks our play. Last week, he um, almost, like, mucked it up without... Was it last week? Yeah, Ozil's, mm. Ozil's shot. Like, he challenged um, Alexi for the same ball. He did it again today. With, like, it, they've mm. got to talk to each other. He had the same with Purr at the back and Chambers as well. He's got to know that one person's going for the ball and the other one's mm. dropping off to cover them. Uh, so, yeah, we fought hard in the end, but when we get referees like this, we go within ourselves. We're too afraid to actually even try and put in a tackle because there wasn't one challenge that we put in out there today that was really warranting a yellow card. Not that I could think of. And the I'd say the Cockerland one, though. I think he was a bit rash with that one. Well, I thought he still won the ball first. Mm. But um, you can't be offside from a throw-in either, can you? No. Nope. No. So mm. how did the follically challenged twat that was over on the far side put his flag up when Giroud got the ball from a throw-in. Do they not understand the rules themselves? I know they've never played football because they're the sad, lonely kids that when you like pick the team at lunchtime, you went, oh, you have them, we'll have Russ goalkeeper. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? We need to get rid of these and get... We, we are not Americans. Sorry, Steve. Uh, yeah. We are not brought up on, a, on BS of their wrestling. Yeah. We know that that's all dodgy and all fixed. We don't want our football the same. And the sooner we get it cleaned up, get FIFA cleaned up, get the, F the Premiership and the Referees Association cleaned up, the better it'll be. Let me finally ask you, though, because a couple of weeks ago you were saying you don't think we could win the league. Are we kind of back on track now? We, you know, we're two points behind Leicester now. We're two points off the top. Still loads of games to play, a lot of difficult games, but if they can carry this momentum through, we've got a chance. Yeah, we, we can do it. As I said to you, like, it's down to the players. They've got to pull their head out their backsides and they've got to work from the first minute to the 95th, 96th minute. Yeah? None of this, like, sloppy stuff, dip, tippy-tappy stuff. When we played Southampton, there wasn't one shot that had any venom in it. Yeah? The keeper never made a decent save. Every save that he made was nothing more than he does in the warm-up before the game. Yeah, we got to start putting our laces through the ball and like knocking the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Like, not actually going, ah, uh, like, get some venom. Like, subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. I didn't expect them to cheat their first goal. And don't tell me it's not a penalty because I was sat right at the bottom at the corner flag 
where it happened and it was not a penalty. Somebody said to me that Thierry Henry and all the guys in I don't there, care. they said it was a penalty. Yeah, but they're not they're not watching it like right in front of them. Like the referee was right there. We had a penalty before that anyway. Mm. When 